Aw, man. I got a rogue disposition A body addiction Norm defector I'm a tattoo collector Scares ain't this mic. Amar, uh, do you really think I'd forget to pick up our own son's ashes? I'll stop by the funeral home, and I'll see you later. Hey, man. I'm sorry about what happened. You know, losing a kid to Sid, that's a, that's a tough thing to get over. Thanks, man. Hey man, I heard for this year's contest the Drexel Brothers are featuring Andrew's new skateboard tattoo. You get a chance to see it? Yeah. Don't worry, Rembrandt. What I got planned for Mars back this year is gonna blow that shit away. Yeah, winning a contest at a big tattoo convention like that is huge. Yeah. I'm still pissed at Amara last year for getting sunburned. She knew how much that shit meant to me. I know, man. And losing to them sucked. But you know, your reputation as a published artist speaks for itself. And everybody in town knows you're the best artist. Not those Nazi punks. Hell yeah. And I'll see you later, man. Yeah, man. Excuse me, may I help you? I'm here to pick up my son's ashes. What's his name? Justin. Justin Skinner. Justin Skinner. Okay, what I need you to do is go back up front and I'll get your asses for you. Hold up, man. Didn't I say you need to go back up front? I know that chick. I'm an artist. I know my work anywhere. That is nice. Nice work. Too bad it's going up in smoke. No shit. That's a shame. That's some of my best work. Oh, that's a nice wallet. You should do that yourself. Yeah. Give me a moment alone with my friend. Sure. No problem. You know, I think you have a beautiful body, right, baby? You have my favorite cameras for my special design. What I've gotten by is so special. Only you can wear this work of art. Why is it that? No, baby. This time I mean it. Only you can wear an all-over back tattoo made with ink infused with Justin's ashes. Yeah. I want to enter it in this year's contest at the tattoo convention. A tattoo infused with my own son's ashes. The judges are going to love that. It is lovely to die.
try to hold still. I'm working as fast as I can. Jesus Christ, we're going to Just don't screw it up, Mike. Inks forever. Well, until you die, which is a shame. Wish I could donate my ink to you so you could do something with it. The hell are you talking about, Rudy? Me and Mike, we watched a show the other day about what the Nazis did to people's flesh in the concentration camps. Did you see it? No, I didn't see that one. It was freaking amazing what they did with people's skin. But you gotta wonder, were the people already dead when the Nazis skinned them? I don't think anyone knows. You know, I work a lot with leather using deer hides and animal hides, but I never got the idea of working with human skin as leather until I seen that show a while back. Oh, wait. You're telling me the Nazis actually used human leather? Oh yeah, all sorts of stuff. Lampshades, book covers, stuff like that. Man, I'd be honored if somebody framed up my tattoos. I'd be dead, but a part of me would live on. Lips. Hello? Hey man, you got more tattoos for me? Yeah, one came in yesterday. Thank you, Mike. Just like this one. So I'll see you later. You're wrong. Get off your damn phone. Get your lazy ass back to work. Not my regular. Hey, I'm Marshall Neely. I'm a fashion designer. Feel like I've met you before, but I'm pretty sure I'd have remembered that. What's your name? Have you ever modeled? My name's Miss. Amara Skinner. I did pose for a local photographer for advertising. Nothing you would have seen. Why do you ask? Well, Mrs. Amara Skinner, that's some beautiful artwork you have. I think you might really have something. Why, well, thank you. My husband Mike is the artist. It's absolutely stunning. You know, I've been looking for a model for a photo shoot I'm doing for Ink and Road magazine. Would you be interested? Really? That's fantastic. I'd have to talk it over with my husband, Mike. Well, this could be very lucrative for you. And it'd be strictly business. Why, thank you. I'm flattered. Just what is my wife Mike, complaining no! about? That's Marshall Neely. Fine. We're leaving. Let's go. What the hell was that? It was Marshall Neely, the fashion designer. He asked me to model for it. Yeah, sounds like a great thing about it if you guys Amara. We were just talking. I'm not dumb like you, Amara. Mike, no, wait. Shut up. Mike, I really am sorry. I went to my workshop. I don't want to be disturbed. So, it's Marshall Neely. He's a famous fashion designer. Marshall Neely. Motherfucking punk ass little bitch. Kick his fucking punk little ass. I I'm so sorry, Donna. I I'll call you tomorrow. <sighs> Alright, bye. I told you I didn't want to be disturbed. Donna just called. Rudy was hit on his way home from work today, and he's... He's dead, Mike. Rudy's dead. Rudy's dead. Well, thanks for the bad news. Yeah, hello? Hey, man. You got Rudolph Mills? Mills. No, we don't have anybody by the name of the list. Was he one of yours? Yeah. And a good friend. Damn, sorry to hear that. But I do have somebody you might be interested in. 
Not today, man. Thanks. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm not gonna need your services anymore. What? What do you mean? You had a deal. You had an arrangement. Uh, this working out well for me. Yeah, well. It was working out good for me too, but I just don't need it anymore. We had a deal, man! Hey man, it's not about the other day. Just have a bad day. Come on, get in, I'll give you a ride. My designs look great on you. Really? You think so? I can't wait to do this again sometime. That is, if you want me to. I want you to. No, I need you to come to L.A. with me for a fashion show. Really? That's fantastic. Can't wait. Bitsy spider fall up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider down. Now came the sun to dried up on the rain. Bitsy bitsy spider brought up the spout. tell you that I'm flying out to LA with Marshall Neely for that fashion show I told you about. Wait, you're flying with the Marshall Neely to do a fashion show in Los Angeles right now? Yeah, it's just too big of an opportunity to pass up. Wow, that's big time, girl. Look, I told Mike that I was driving to Lafayette to see my mom for the weekend, and... You cannot let him know I'm going to LA. Oh no, I won't say a word. Alright, bye bitch. Mary Musgrove here on the scene with Police Chief Tanner. Chief, what do you know so far? Well, Mary, in the murder of Andrew Drexel, it appears to be one of a series of murders. As a matter of fact, they seem to be strangely connected. How is that, Chief? Well, on the murders, all of their tattoos have been removed. Detective Moss. Do you suspect the grave robbery we reported early in the week is related to this tattoo collector? Uh, yes, we suspect those are related. The deceased Rudy Mills was known to have numerous tattoos, but uh, the body has not been recovered as of yet to make any connection with the, the other murders. Hey, man. Come on down the street. All the hot cars down at the Drexel shop. Mm hmm. Heard the little brother went missing last weekend. Really? And that sucks. So, you going out tonight to since Amora's in LA? She's down in Lafayette helping her mom this weekend. Now, I'm pretty sure she was telling Glory she's going to LA to do a fashion show. LA? Man, I thought you knew. She went out there with Marshall Neely. To Marshall Neely? Knew I couldn't trust that slut around him. That's the last damn straw. I gotta go lock up. I gotta go to my workshop. I gotta think. I can't believe you've been lying to me this entire time. God, that pisses me off. Using my tattoos to lure other men to her like flies to honey. I can't believe she flew off with that guy. Who she think I am, some dumbass? I'll say this. She's not gonna fuck me over no more. Uh-uh. God, 
feel like a damn fool. I can't take this shit anymore, Rudy. I warned her. I told her one day she's gonna fucking pay. She wants to use my tattoo to seduce other men? Uh uh. Now I want my tattoo back. Musgrove here in the scene with Police Chief Tanner. Chief, what do you know so far? Well, Mary, in the murder of Andrew Drexel, it appears to be one of a series of murders. Hey, Remy, come check this out. They're talking about that kid, Andrew. How is that, Chief? Also, that news has been removed. Detective Moss, do you suspect the grave robbery we reported early in the week yeah, was related uh -huh. to this? Tattoo collection? Yeah, I'm calling them. Uh, yes, these are related. I know the deceased Rudy Mills was known to have numerous tattoos, but uh, the body has not been recovered as of yet. Gloria, I think week. Mike's the tattoo collector. Uh, all we do right now is issue a warning to all those that have tattoos yeah. to be and careful as as and keep them covered. I said something to Mike about Mark was flying down late again. I thought he knew. Please tell me you didn't say anything. I mean, God, when was the last time you saw him? Friday. And he didn't show up yesterday. He tore out the shop mad as hell. It's okay. I talked to Amara. She's flying back from LA, and Mike asked you to come to the shop like at 8 for a touch up on their tattoos. It's almost 8 now. If Mike is a tattoo collector, and he knows about her going to LA with Marshall, he's gonna kill her. Come on, we've got to go. about the drive home. Much traffic? Yeah, not really. I know you didn't drive, did you? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't tax on fucking innocent! I know about your escapades! I know about you flying off with Marshall Neely! What? Who told you? It doesn't matter who told me! It's over! I don't want it! No more excuses! Please, please. I want my tattoo back! <laughs> Thanks for the call, man. No problem, man. Start of a great partnership. Got that money? Love that wallet, by the way. 
Give me a minute with my friend. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. I got a rogue disposition. A body ink addiction. Norm defector. I'm a tattoo collector.